Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So late yesterday in my region on the 31st of August, Microsoft rolled out this week's brand new pair of beta channel insider builds, builds 22621 and 22631.2265, which were both bumped up with the update KB5029347. Now this week, there's not too much in the line of new features in the beta channel. And that's because things are now starting to slow down and things are starting to um, kind of be finalized in the beta channel because in effect, uh, build 22631 is our next 23H2 feature update, which we are expecting to see start rolling out shortly as soon as possibly the end of this month, moving into October and November of this year, 2023. So this is a good indication now that things are starting to steady now that Microsoft is starting to finalize our next 23H2 feature update now being tested with the beta channel insiders. Now something just to take note of that Microsoft has announced since rolling out these two builds. They've said that the issue that was causing this update to not be offered to those of you in the beta channel is now resolved and you should be able to download and install the update. So just take note of that if you are in the beta channel. Now what's new when it comes to changes and improvements in build 22631 for this week? There are two worth mentioning for this video. And the first is regarding emoji with Microsoft saying with the update of their color font format, Windows is now able to display richer emoji with a 3D-like appearance, as we can see here um, on the right-hand side, uh, with support coming soon to some apps and browsers. So these uh, emoji now use gradients to bring this new design style and these new design expressions. So here we can see before and here we can see after and we can see there is clearly a little bit of a, a change when it comes to those color font formats bring in those design style changes and those expression changes. Then moving on to the next, and this actually started running out in last week's flight to the beta channel, which is the new uh, settings homepage, which we are expecting to see roll out uh, with the 23H2 feature update shortly, which provides an overview um, of your device, which gives you quick access to key settings and helps manage your Microsoft account. Now this is rolling out now. Um, and should be available now to all Windows insiders in the beta channel, where last week only some um, beta channel insiders received the new settings homepage, which gives you now these interactive cards, as I've mentioned in a previous video, and we get seven cards now uh, in the new settings homepage now in total. And just to summarize those very quickly, we get our recommended settings, our cloud storage, our account recovery, personalization, uh, Microsoft 365, which is a little bit of advertising, as I have mentioned previously. Uh, we get an Xbox, and we also get a Bluetooth, which aren't um, pictured in this screenshot provided. Now, those are the kind of key changes for this week. As mentioned, not too much going on, but there is um, one fix that's worth mentioning as part of the fixes that have rolled out. And they have fixed an issue that was causing explorer.exe. Now explorer.exe is the shell of your operating system. So that would be your file explorer, your start menu, uh, your search, your notification center, and so on. So they fixed an issue causing explorer.exe to crash on the login screen when attempting to enter safe mode, which is an important fix that's rolled out. And over and above that, there are plenty of other fixes that have been made available in this week's beta channel builds. And then we have one known issue. And that's more or less, as mentioned, what is rolled out. Build 22621 and 22631.2265. And as mentioned, um, our 23H2 feature update now is getting closer. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.